All right, and hey there, Prox students. This is Prox right here, and guys, welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Y uh, Prox Log. So, if you guys missed out in the last episode, uh, we are still continuing throughout our way here throughout the Lysander Labs, and uh, we actually went and battled out both Bryony and also Celiosa. And uh, I thought we were actually going to be getting ourselves into an actual double battle, but it seems like that wasn't actually going to be the case. Uh, Bryony and Celiosa did actually have two Pokemon for each uh, of their uh, different battles, but either way, we were actually kind of fine throughout it. Unfortunately, I did actually do die uh actually did die throughout that whole uh entire process but that's okay uh because you know what I, I think we're still all right with the pokemon that we still actually do have um but for right now we're just gonna go continue throughout our way actually go and hopefully take care of mabel and then we can go and uh reach on over to the team flare uh where the other special team flare grunt is the one that is going to basically uh going to unveil the ultimate weapon that is going to be happening over at geosyn so that should be pretty interesting to actually go and see but anyways uh hope you guys are uh, having yourself a great day out here for today and uh, without further ado let's just go and do a little bit of a team recap shall we all right, to get things started off with first, we actually do have Farron at level 49 with the Earth Plate. Does have Glare, Land Rat, Dragon Rest, and also Bite. Let's do have Kuma, of course, at level 45 uh, with the Element Coin. Does have Light Screen, Psychic, Roll Play, and also Disarming Voice. Let's do have Pearl at level 37 with the Splash Plate. Does have Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, Range Dance, and also Surf. And we also, of course, do have Bloop at level 36 with the Poison Bar. Does have Amnesia, Body Slam, Toxic, and also Sludge. So that is basically everybody on. Oh, well, actually, sorry. Also, we're missing only one more other Pokemon, but we also do have Avian at level 41 with the Sky Plate. Does have Aerial Ace, Takedown, Fly, and also Brave Bird. So that is basically everybody on the team. Kind of happy that we actually do have a Star Raptor on the team now. It's actually been uh, pretty fun so far while using it. Uh, but let's just go and grab out this guy. So some hyper potions. And speaking about hyper potions, I did actually go and get myself all healed up. That's why you guys actually see me in a whole other different section of Lysander's lab uh, to compare to uh, from before. So yeah, there was just a little bit of some other changes that I just kind of had to go and do around here. Now we also got ourselves this battle up ahead, and I think what I'm going to do is probably switch around with Avian, just so that we can try and get a little bit uh, with some uh, extra EXP grinding out here. And uh, I don't mind using Avian for a little bit. So not really understand, it's only natural to be jealous of a suit as styling as mine. Alright, so let's see what this Flare Drun's got. So it only has only one Pokemon out here, and it does actually have a Roserade. So that's actually kind of worked in my favor a little bit. We actually just switch out uh, from Avian out in here, so this should be a fine battle. Now, anyways, as well, too, uh, uh, you guys should also be seeing a ukulele episode uh, happening out your guys' way as well. Uh, we are going to actually be heading into our second type of portal that is actually going to be happening. Uh, another one of those secret exits, which uh, I never really got to uh, search for quite a while. And uh, I was actually looking up on a guide, and I actually did figure out there is one somewhere around near, uh, near, uh, near the area that we're at. So that is going to be really nice. And uh, also, too, uh, there is also going to be some other things that we're also going to be doing in ukulele, such as us heading into our next chapter i'm pretty much certain and also grabbing out on a new uh type of tonic for our different abilities that are going to be there so hope you guys go and check out that video and uh also as well i uh, hope you guys did go and check out on the live stream uh we actually did uh do the part three of the pac-man world 2 co-op so hope you guys did go and check out that that was actually pretty fun i do have to say and also too i actually did uh really uh, uh help out uh, with my dolphin emulator uh, quite a bit i did do some readjustments and some other stuff like that uh, so I can literally make the game actually play out a lot better than what it is and I do have to say part 3 went out smoothly as perfect as it can be so hopefully uh, with Super Paper Mario it's going to be the exact same way so that's going to be really nice uh, for that to happen now we do have a Volby out here and I'm not really too entirely certain on how I'm going to actually be able to go and knock out this Volby now I know that Lance Ross is going to be not doing anything but I could probably set up for some Dragon Breath Kind of injure it down a little bit. Hope we can get it paralyzed. That's how mirror move and uses dragon breath as well, but I don't think it's gonna be doing that much of damage. But you do paralyze me, you son of a freaking Pokemon! Get out of here. Uh, well, we do actually have some full heals, so it's all good. Can't believe that this Wolby has mirror move. What the heck, man? And you also do have power weapon. It's a good thing that we avoid the attack. Come on, man. I do need to get at least a paralysis on this Volby if I can. Does have confined, though, which is going to be a very annoying problem out here. Going to be lowering out my special attack. Now, I think also, too, we do have a Mabel fight as well that is going to be happening. So, uh, that is going to be some pretty crazy stuff. Because <laughs> I know that the last time we just literally went and battled her, she only had one Pokemon. That's just going to probably have it at least, like, maybe two or maybe even three different Pokemon on her team, which that is not going to be fun at all. 
Um, but let's see. We got ourselves a Ridge Giga, so it seems like they're gonna be throwing a whole bunch of freaking legendaries at us. We've seen Verizions in here. We've seen freaking Articunos. Like, what else are we gonna be seeing in this place? We got Ridge Gigas's now. Hyper Beam. What in the heck? Get out of here, man. Now, hopefully, that's not gonna do a lot of damage. Okay. Well, at least we're good. Zygarde is still living out here. Set up for another Lance Rat. Come on, man. Oh, we're so close. Nice, it must recharge. We're gonna suffer our dragon breath. Come on, this is going to knock out the Regigigas clean out here, so see you later. Alright. Ugh, oh, give me some of this levels. Yes, there we go. Bloop is now at level 37. And we'll take that. Alright, good job. Got ourselves 1700 Poke Dollars. Oh, and speaking about uh, our Poke Money, we actually do have like a hundred and I want to say 101. Uh, yeah, we do actually have like 101,000 uh, freaking Poke Dollars on us, but now I think we actually do have 104,000. So that's actually pretty crazy. We're actually going to get ourselves quite a bit of cash. Okay, so this is the room with Mabel. So things could get very hairy here if we're not careful enough. Uh, I think I'm gonna probably just go set up for a hyper immediately. So I'll make sure to do that as quickly as possible. There we go. Now I do have some max ether, so I may probably have to use that for our land wrath after all of this. So, oh ho ho, so you're that kid from the Frost Cavern uh, on your list this time. Yes. So oh, that's so cold. Uh, cooler than that cavern, your Pokemon uh, don't even count for anything. So we gather data about all the trainers in this region throughout our uh, Holocaster, so we know all about you guys. And you know how the Mega Ring is uh, used to awaken Pokemon's powers, right? So just like the ultimate weapon can max out Pokemon's power set, it looks like you and me are just practically after the same thing, yeah? Alright, so here we go. Out with Mabel for the second time. Does have Teleflame to start off with. Okay. Now, I think a good thing for me is, is that I'm going to just go and probably set up for Glare first and just actually go for a Paralysis on this. So it does have Map Block. Don't really know what that is going to do, so uh, it tends to flip up the match. Okay. Well, at least, uh, at least that doesn't really have, like, any type of protection or anything, I don't think. I'm going to set up for a Dragon's Breath. I know that Wrath is not going to do anything because you are part flying, so... But you do actually have fly though, which that's gonna be really freaking annoying. Uh, I'm gonna set for a bite. Okay, here we go. Fly. Ouch. Not too much damage, but we're all good. Dragon breath. Here we go. We can trap for another time. Nice. All right, we landed out first. Just keep on doing that, and we should be in the clear. But you do have fly still. Ah, an annoying freaking Pokemon. All right, avoid the attack. Uh. Alright, there we go. Got hit again, but I think another Dragon Breath should do some justice, hopefully. Wow, very close to it, though. I think it's a good time for me to go and suffer a Hyper just to be in case, uh, just to be a little bit safe, because you never know what is going to be happening next after this fight. And I should have literally did that before when I had, uh, freaking, uh, what was that, our Zeus that was here for the time being, our, uh, Thunderous during that fight with the Ludicolo, uh, uh, with the Ludicolo, I should have literally, uh, went and had a Hyper Potion already set in place for that, when that outrage was gonna be happening. I wasn't expecting that it was gonna be having that move right away. There we go, Kuma's now at level 46, and Navy's at 42, so that's not all that bad. We actually do have a Genesect coming out. Now, I know that Leia's Wrath is going to probably not do a lot of damage, but we do have an Earth Plate, so that kind of may probably help out just a very small tad bit. But I think I'm going to go and set up for Glare first. There we go. So Glare's going to happen first, so we'll make sure to go and do that. Okay, it does have Mist Ball. Uh, I may probably need to switch on out, because this Mist Ball is very annoying, and it loves to freaking lower my special attack, so... I'm going to switch out into Pearl out here, because I don't think Miss Ball is going to do a lot of damage to us from here. Okay. So I believe Miss Ball does actually have 5 PP, so we'll kind of let it just hit uh, Lapras for a little bit. I'm going to try and set up for maybe, uh, maybe a Surf or something. I don't know. I could try and do that, but I don't think it's going to do that much. Uh very little damage okay whoa holy crap that was very close that was actually a 
full scale, um, uh, like almost death right there. All right, we have to sell for a full restore. We do have quite a bit of money, so I'll come back and buy all, some more full restores later, but we have to use it right now. Okay, calm down, man. I don't know, should I risk it one more time? Here we go, set that surf up again, and that was actually a critical for our own, and hopefully this miss ball is not going to do another critical. Okay. Now, I think I should probably switch on out, just to be careful. Don't know what else this Genesect has to store, but I'm going to be very terrified. So we do have that setting up. Paralyzed can't move. Yes, that is what I want to see out here. Set up for a land wrath, and let's go and just absolutely obliterate this thing. There we go. Neutral damage, but you know what? We did it. We taken care of the Genesect. Easy as a piece of cake. No deaths at all. <sighs> Hopefully knock on wood that that doesn't happen, but... There we go. Pearl's now at level 38. Sweet. And there, Mabel has been defeated. There, you can finally get on out of here. Oh, you're so strong and you and your Pokemon are most certainly not ordinary. That is how we do it. So what is going to go on? So ding ding. Yep, you did it. So the victory goes to the spoil. So here, an elevator key for you. Nice. We can actually go and take the elevator up. So the power of the legendary Pokemon, the power to steal life uh, from all of it. It's a mysterious ability that even scientists like us haven't been able to really decode. What do you think will happen to the world if a fuel the ultimate weapon was something like that? Well, let's go and see. Okay, let's finally get on out of here, man. Just get me the heck on out of here. Oh, no! Oh, what the heck? That was just annoying. I have to head down through this side. There we go. Now we can head back to the elevator. Well, I guess let's just do a little bit of a quick heal. I'll worry about saving at the end of the episode. Because you just never know what may probably happen. If my game like crashes or something, I don't really want that to be saved uh, during that. But let's go use the elevator key. So let's hop on in. Which would you like to go? Well, B2 is the only one that we have. So let's do it. Okay, here we are. So we're on B2 now. Just have to go and uh, walk all the way down here, and oh man, there's AZ and also Lysander. So listen, one who will face Lysander. So how's it going, AZ? It has been a little while. We haven't seen you since like during the time of the uh, the whole thing with um, with the with the whole uh, power plant uh, threat Kalos that was going on. So yes, so now we got ourselves the origin story about uh, how uh, AZ has this fluid, which uh, I believe that's actually like a mystery event or something that you can actually get. And I think I actually still have mine, uh, to be on uh, to be honest with you. But I never really got to use uh, fluid, uh, well AZ's fluid, all that too much. I've used it in a few like competitive battles, like at school and stuff. But it's an alright uh, good competitive Pokemon. But uh. I, I, I don't really have like a comic question of the day or anything of the sort like that, but you know what? I think the one comic question of the day that I would probably have to say is what is your guys' favorite like Gen 6 character? I guess. I don't know if I've already uh, like uh, said that one to you guys already, but for me personally, I would probably have to say I really do uh, like Lysander a lot, and uh, I would probably have to say I would probably go for AZ as well too. Uh, just knowing uh, about like AZ's backstory, like for this part here, for example, and learning about all this ultimate weapon stuff and everything that is going on, and how the whole mega evolution, well, well, yeah, like where this whole like mega evolution thing like came into being and stuff. Because I think he was the one that created it or something like that. Or he created some sort of machine that literally caused this whole Mega Evolution thing to happen. But, uh, I, I don't think I'm going to really have to read through all of this all that too much. But, um, but yeah, I do have to say the Pac-Man World 2 livestream was actually pretty fun. So I uh, hope you guys did go and check out that. Uh, I don't know if I already said that uh, already here in this video or not. Uh, but it was a pretty fun series. I uh, had no leg uh, throughout this uh, whole entire part 3. I do have to say a Pac-Man World 2. So hope you guys did uh, go and enjoy that. I did have to do a few different setting changes and whatnot uh, with uh, the Dolphin emulator. So, uh, oh no, here it goes. It actually exploded. And, uh... That's how it all came to be. 
But uh, yeah, I think the finale should actually be happening uh, this upcoming Saturday. So I uh, hope you guys do go and check out the uh, the final episode of the co-op stream that is going to be happening. And it should be pretty exciting. We only have like, I think like two more worlds left. We do have the ocean and we also do have the ghost island. And uh, ghost island, I do have to say, in Pac-Man World 2 is literally not my favorite area of that whole entire game. I do have to say, I, I despise that place with a burning passion. I hated the lava levels. If you guys have watched uh, the previous uh, live stream for part three i do not like the lava levels in pac-man world 2 but ghost island is going to be even much worse than it has to be uh there is a lot of backtracking in ghost island i believe there's actually one level in particular i think after ghost bayou uh, which that's actually one of the levels that is in that game uh where you actually have to go and literally uh head to like one certain part of the area and then you have to do this big huge lot of backtracking part exactly like from one of the previous levels that literally happened in, in one of the lava places but uh, get the key back. It should not uh, be used to everything that will vanish again. But do you want to know the unending pain like I have? So that is AZ. He is the same name as the king that lived for 3,000 years ago. And for some unknown reason, he had the key to the ultimate weapon hung around his neck. It's finally time to follow me to the chambers. So I guess we're going to be seeing the actual legendary Pokemon itself, Yuvatel. So I guess we have to go and worry about that now. Oh man. Well, let's go ahead here. I guess we got ourselves another floor. Yep, B3. We're not done just yet. We still got a few other areas to go to. Now, I don't know if I should end off this episode a little bit early. Because I don't know uh, if we're going to get ourselves into another type of fight right now. Because I'm not really fully ready yet. But let's just see what happens. Okay, so the Pokeballs that we received and the Pokemon that we gathered are where they need to be. So add it all up and that means all preparations are complete. The only thing left to do is to put the plan in motion. So I'm counting on you. Oh, and here we go. So it looks like we got this guy. So one push of the button and we can activate the ultimate weapon from this room. So I believe being a chosen one means that you have the potential to change up the future. Whether we activate the ultimate weapon or leave it safely underground will rest upon if you actually have the potential or not. But don't we have to go and validate this guy first before you even worry about that? So, ho, oh, so you're the one that I've heard so much. I've been waiting for you. So I do need a little research on you. So come, let's go and begin. So we're trying to buy... Oh, okay. It's not with the Z. It's with the X. So it's uh, Exercis. Or Exerosic? Exerosic. I think that's what his name is. I thought his name was a Z or something like that. But it has been a while since I've played uh, Exerosic 6. So here we go. Got ourselves a sand tree to start off with. Um, I think we should be okay. I don't know if Land Rats is going to do a lot of damage, but we should try this out. Almost knocks it out. <laughs> that is hilarious. The Sanshu actually has Splash, so you are literally a Magikarp. Well, this is easy enough for me. Here you go. Have this bite and just be gone, Sanshu. Eh. Absolutely destroyed. See you later, man. Well, at least that uh, freaking Sanshu didn't have Oblivion Wing or something. Oh god, this Miltank may probably have Oblivion Wing and I may probably just psych myself out. Um, well, I don't know how I'm going to be working around with a Miltank out here. Um, I guess more Land Wrath? <laughs> just keep us set up with Land Wrath? Just literally destroy everything in his path with Land Wrath. <laughs> That's not Thrash, though. Uh, is that going to do a lot? It does actually do half. So I think this build takes just going to be a thrash mode. So I think I should probably just go and heal up just in case. Just let this get this build take all, uh, all confused and stuff. I think this should probably be our last battle. So uh, let's just go get you out of here. Okay, there you go. So confused already. Going to go and set up for another land rash. So let's go. Okay, there you go. That takes you down to red. Please hurt yourself for the love of God. Okay, but you're still going to keep on going for thrashing. Don't get a critical. Whatever you do. Final land's wrath. And there you go. Goodbye, Miltank. And that was the only two Pokemon that he only did have. Okay, so Azerosic is gone. So uh, you're wonderful. Your Pokemon are amazing. So I may probably have to put a little bit of a blip or something in this episode just to remind you guys that this guy actually starts with the X, not with the Z. 
So the ultimate weapon was used to put to an end to the war of, of the incident. So we used the incredible power to finally free Kalos to the foolish humans that played it. Uh, but, uh, but behind me, you'll find a red button and a blue button. Uh, one of them is the button for the activating the ultimate weapon. So come now and push. Uh, uh, come on and push one. Well, we'll have to worry about that for the next time. So which one is it going to be? Are we going to be pushing the red one? Or are we going to be pushing the blue one? We'll see what goes on out here. So uh, also two guys don't forget about the common question of the day is what is your guys' favorite character out here uh, in Pokemon Generation 6? So it, it, so so I'm not really like kind of like limiting on, on what your guys' character, uh, favorite character is for here in Generation 6. You guys can literally go and name whatever type of Generation 6 character that's here. You guys can like name off like, like Sander or or Xerosic or uh, even AZ or uh, maybe Serena or something like that. Uh, but anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one and in uh, peace.